In the past few months, Jamie has introduced us to a series of slightly modified traditional building method that is commonly used in Australia. Let's have a look at the test result. Great result, Jamie. It's not just 0.6. We are almost hitting 0.5 at this building. Yes, Joseph, this is standard Australian construction. And we've implemented systems at critical points and the sequencing to install those methods. So before the trusses went in, we installed our tight bridge. Before the bottom plates and the walls were erected, we installed our tight plate. And then obviously the sequencing of installing that which was the critical points, Joseph. And I think the tests speak for themselves. Definitely, and also a good design doesn't always guarantee a good result. For this project in particular, because we got involved along the process of construction, we helped the builder to schedule and time each trace to implement a better communication between trays, how to coordinate and get them aware how they should treat the building wraps with respect and how each of their penetration needs to be treated and located in one or two incidents where the communication break down. We had a bit of drama happen, but it is all rectifiable if we keep a close discussion communication with the builder and all the trades get involved. Absolutely, Joseph. And we have been able to document and video the whole sequencing from the start to the finish, which shows how we've installed these systems. It's, it's an amazing result. And these owners are gonna feel the benefit of this for years and years to come. I think that it's achievable for anybody with a clear understanding from the start on what you want to achieve and how you can achieve that, Joseph. For some of the viewer that is not familiar with our series, let's have a recap on what are the changes along the construction sequence, starting from when the slab is done. What is the difference we, compared to the con conventional construction? Prior to the walls being stood up, we engaged the carpenter to actually install what we call a tight plate. That was installed underneath the bottom of the wall and then the wall was erected on top of that tight plate. And then if you have a look here, you can see the actual building material that we actually implemented and specified for the carpenter to install, which gave us a connection point to start our wrap. This section here, this, this, this highlights where the air barrier starts and stops. If you look above, this is the subfloor of a floor above us. The section that has an air barrier is basically roof tails that come over the top of this wall. So this is outside the top subfloor. This was the only section that needed to be protected and the air barrier has been installed in this section, which connects to our methodology of an exterior wrap on the outside connects to the internal wrap on the ceiling and then our external wrap which was proctor cw continued it continued up and then across with the floor above so up to now the two main differences we have the tight plate installed below the bottom plates to create a gasket seal between your external wall and the floor slab. When we follow the wall build up, it's just conventional sacking with taping to create the seal. Then we introduce the tight bridge or the Proctor Connect product. The reason behind we need that tight bridge or the Proctor Connect is because we can roll out and install that piece of extra heavy duty product that is tear and damage resist, which means we don't need to install the external wrap before the roof truss is in. The conventional passive house wall method is a great detail to construct an external wall. However, 
there is a little problem we face here locally in Australia. It requires a big change in the method and the sequencing of how things get put together. In a lot of the time, it's very, very difficult to promote and get more people take up that kind of construction. In addition to that, one of the biggest risks of using the conventional passive house construction method for your external wall in Australia in particular is whenever you need to make changes in your electrical or data requirement or security requirement, you are running a very, very high risk to create irreversible damage to your airtight barrier because 99% of the trays know nothing about passive house construction, especially what is or how to deal with the internal airtight vapor control wraps. Most of the time, whenever you ask a Sparky or a security contractor to install a new point, they would take out their plaster knife, pop in, demolish your wrap. And the worst part is they would just cut the whole size of your PowerPoint to install whatever they need. You don't have room to repair your wrap and it becomes very, very either costly. You need to make a much bigger cutout in your plasterboard to fix it or you lose the performance. With our tight house detail, we do it like conventional construction. All the surfaces can still run in the stud zone. All the trays are familiar with that. When we need to consider about the vapor control, we have products such as our vapor tight internal paint. We rely on the internal plasterboard and introduce the paints to create that um, vapor barrier. And we can complement that with PowerPoint boxes to maintain the integrity of the vapor barrier on the inside. Even if your tray are not familiar with that, it can be easily get someone to come back and fix it for you. Here you can clearly see where you've got a bit of shadowing coming through. That actually shows you the roofing system of the floor above. It's got a small section with small roof tiles. You can see that prior to those tiles being installed downstairs, we thought about this process and installed this external Proctor CWIT and we're able to install it from top to bottom which meant we only needed to worry about wrapping the ceiling of the floor below. So we've got a continual system where we showed the small section downstairs and it continual comes all the way up. Up the top, you can see where we've got our tight bridge. We were able to liaise with the carpenter and made sure that that system was implemented prior to any of the roof trusses being installed. So we've gone external, internal, external, back to internal. We've really got one line of defense. We've been clear from the start how that was going to be processed and implemented. And what amazing results, Joseph. We are under 0.6 with one air barrier. And we've proved that with a great methodology, which we've got at Tide House, that you can actually do it with great sequencing. It's a testament to everybody that's worked here, the, the designs from Tide House, and I, th I think the owner is going to really appreciate the benefits of this for many, many years to come. Definitely. And also, the viewer may find it interesting why all of a sudden we got an internal wrap on the ceiling. This is because it is warrant to use internal wrap product. We have no hesitation to take on it to give the best result. This is because of two main reasons. Number one, if we transition the wall to an internal ceiling wrap, we avoid a lot of difficult transition junctions around the eave of your roof system. And that will drastically increase the chance to get a successful fully airtight enclosure. Number two, the owner is, is going to install an HRV system for this job. 
we want to maintain all the duct work in the protected zone. By installing an internal wrap and the batten system, we got a dedicated zone for the HRV ducting to go through. And it also provides additional protection from any potential um, insulation fiber falling into the occupied zone as well. There is an additional benefit because if we're using the internal wrap as our airtight barrier, that means our external wrap can be vented as per the latest building code changes. That means we can still use them to satisfy provision to get the building permit and reduce engineering work required to obtain the performance solution. Our tight house detail is primarily focusing on air tightness alone. It doesn't address every single performance aspect a passive house design certified product address. Anyway, from the guys from Efficiency Matrix Tight House, keep wrapping. <laughs>